friends, it is Claire from Woodshed Theory coming to you today with a fun crafting video that I have been patiently waiting to do for the past two weeks. I've been trying so hard to not do this because I wanted to film it, but I don't know about you, but when I get new crafting supplies, I kind of... I just need to set a limit on myself because I will just keep starting new things that are exciting to me when maybe I should be finishing other projects. What, it, what do they call them? Work in progress. Um, I bought this about, I'd say two weeks ago. And it seemed interesting to me because I have never done any anagurumi before and I wanted to give it a shot. So I actually waited and made sure that I didn't try any amigurumi before I got this kit because I wanted to see if a beginner could handle it. Here is the Little Crochet Friends kit from Michaels. It is the Loops and Threads brand, which is the brand exclusive or the Michaels brand of yarn. I thought this was a cute idea. They have a lot of different options that you can choose. Of course, I went with the rabbit because the real reason that I decided to purchase this kit while I was yarn shopping on Michaels.com is because of the reviews. Not because they were good reviews. At the time of purchase, it had one review and it was one star. Now, there is several, or there have been several more reviews since that time. One of them seems to be okay. The other two are also bad. So I'm wondering, can I handle this craft? Is it really a one-star craft? I have pulled up the website right here um, that I first saw this crochet bunny kit on. So I wanted to just go over what the website says about the product and then read the reviews to you so that you can see why I was intrigued to try this and see if it was really that bad. So the product is described as follows. Crochet a bunny with this little crochet friends kit. Included in this kit are step-by-step -step instructions as well as the materials needed to make a new crochet friend. Details, eight inch finished product size, six by five by seven by five by 1.25 package size. So this is the review that really got me. So I'll read it to you now. Not for beginners and instructions are not clear, one star. Do not buy this if you are a beginner or even mediocre at crocheting. The so-called instructions are also not step-by-step. -step. It includes a page of front and back instructions with pieces all over the place. I had no idea where to even begin with this rabbit. Lots of spelling errors in the instructions and it had multiple languages, which just added to the confusion. This may be cute if you can figure it out. I ended up just going to YouTube and using the yarn to try something else. I highly do not recommend this unless you're a pro and can do it without the instructions. 37 people found that helpful. The rest of the reviews are all within the last week. We've got one five star that says that it was easy to use. They never crocheted before and found it really easy. You'll need to teach yourself the stitches if you don't know them as this is essentially just a pattern and materials, not a teaching kit. Good point. However, the other two reviews are also one star. We have somebody saying hand stitching, not easy to stitch the pieces together. Also had to stitch the pink pads to the feet of the rabbit. And another one star review from Emma. I thought this would be a good starting place for a beginner but the directions are way too confusing if you don't have an amazing knowledge of crochet. <laughs> Just like imagining amazing knowledge of crochet. I think if there were a picture after each step, it would be a different story. Oh, there's no pictures. 
Oh. But I have no idea if I was doing it right because there were none. Okay, so it's just a plastic bag. And let's see, it comes with a vacuum sealed package of stuffing. Looks like some vacuum sealed yarn. It comes with a very small plastic hook. It looks like the instructions are in English and in French because lapin, lapin means rabbit in French. Oh. This is long. Well, this is gonna be interesting, isn't it? And it does have the size on it. It's a four millimeter. It's kind of flimsy. And then it also comes with a yarn needle. I like that they do include the hook because that kind of says to me that it's a all-in-one beginner craft. So I'm interested in reading the instructions because including the hook says beginner to me. So we are back and I feel like we're already in trouble. As some of the reviews mentioned, the instructions are in several different languages, but instead of separating them, they've put all the instructions together, just one after another. So you have to sort through them and figure out which ones apply to you. I do want to use the hook that they gave us because obviously that's what you would be doing if you bought this thinking, I'm a beginner crocheter. This is where I'm going to start. And how much does this cost? It retails for $9.99. I got it 20% off. So I think $7.99. First instruction, with off white, chain two. Okay, I can do that. Oh, it's so flimsy. So one, two, place marker. It didn't come with markers. WTF, it didn't come with markers. Markers are used to help distinguish between the beginning of the, yeah, but you didn't give any markers. Okay, kind of a bummer. The yarn splits really easy. Sorry, Michaels. Usually it loops and thread stuff is pretty good. All right, I have a little circle now. Round three. Two single crochets in the next stitch. Wow, this is actually... I'm, people, I'm surprised. Does it say that like an age group for this? Crochet. You don't have to turn on the red light. Crochet. You don't have to sell your yarn to the night. I'm really surprised that they put this out as a kit without more help. I think maybe what they should have done, and I've seen Michaels make videos like this before where they have a video that goes along with it and they give you the link. So round, round four is over here and round five is down here. Why would they do that? Looks like it's and I have figured out that I am working on the head. I feel like for a beginner, they're not very clear. Maybe it, you have to read through the lexicon on the back. I don't think 
I'm qualified to do this. Oh, that's not it. Stuff the head with fiber fill. How much stuffing should go in there? It just says stuff. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do now is like build the body back up. Hey everyone, it is day two of our Emigurumi kit adventure. I finished the body of the bunny last night and decided to call it quits for the evening because, there we go. Decided to call it quits for the evening because I had lost all the natural light and to be honest, the ring light really, really bothers my eyes. So I thought we'd just pick it up. So far, it's looking okay. Leg. Make two you know, these things that are so fiddly. And then when you do amigurumi, that's all there is, is little beginnings. And it's all so fiddly. Come on. Oh, this hook though. Okay, start over, start over. You may be wondering why I'm wearing so much makeup today. That's a great question. You ever have the kind of day where you sit down and you're like just a little mascara and then when you stand back up, full beat. Um, I was just thinking that this might be a good gift for an enemy. I waited all night for this. I believe that is the end of the like. I'm fully committed to doing this all with this stupid, I don't want to call it stupid, it's, that's mean with this flimsy hook. Maybe some people like a flimsy hook. I don't know. Maybe that's your preferred hook style. Uh, <laughs> that's my brain dying. Okay, I, okay, despite it being maybe not the best quality hook, I am having fun. So I guess that's what's important. But I think I could have more fun if the hook was better quality. So that's our little foot. Two legs finished. Now they want us to do the little pads that go on the buddy's feet. Okay, there was a lunch break. Now I am ready to start at it again. And I'm currently at the arms, make two. This is very similar to the other part, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make those and then check back in with you. Be I just finished the two ears. I just need to do the pink that goes in the middle of them. And then I can sew this all together. The two little inner ears done. And then I just forgot about the tail again. I thought I was done, but it's never done. I have finished all of the pieces of the stuffed animal. And in a moment, I'll be back after I finish sewing it all together and we'll work on the face together. All right, we're almost done. This isn't part of the instructions, but I thought it'd be really cute if we gave it a little blush. Okay, when I started this earlier today, I did not think that I would still be here at five o'clock, but here we are. And my bunny's done. What do you think? In general, I think that it's cute. I might have sewed on an arm crooked or two, but again, haven't done this before. It's got a cute little tail on the bum. 
So it is cute, but what are my thoughts? I would maybe give it two out of five stars. I think that if it came with a better hook and better directions and maybe some better yarn, we might have something. But I feel that because it's so hard to read, because the hook is not that great, it just could have been a lot more enjoyable. And I think that if somebody who had not crocheted before tried this, they either wouldn't get it or they would never crochet again. So yeah, I'm going to have to agree with the bad reviews. The finished product or product is really cute. Um, my favorite part is a little blush, but that, that's not even crochet. It's so sweet. I wear my makeup all day. I've been waiting to do this since the project started. Oh, well, that was unsatisfying. Yeah, this hook is... And now it's in four pieces. It It's not it, Michaels. I'm sorry. Michael, if you're watching this, you got to put a better hook in there. Okay, the, the worst thing for me is that they say to sew everything together, like in the picture, but there's no picture of the back of it. So I know where a bunny tail goes and where I would put a bunny tail, but why wouldn't you have the picture there too if you're going to tell people just look at the picture? Yeah. So... What do you think? Have you tried this craft? Do you think that I should try more crafts like this? Should I try more amigurumi? What has your experience been with amigurumi? Do you like doing it? And if you could comment that down below and give this video a like for the torture I just went through. <laughs> I would really appreciate it. I hope that you guys have a great day and that you enjoyed this as much as I did. Goodbye, little bunny. His eyes are kind of lopsided, but you know, that makes him special. Bye. Bye, everybody. Look at my makeup is all over my face. This is the kind of day I've had. It's like right up on there. Anyway. Hope everyone is having a nice day and I hope to see you soon.